Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Pembroke Board of Selectmen's meeting of December 12th. We will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a live video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel 15 and is being recorded for broadcast at future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. Our first item on our agenda is we have a public hearing uh, for a transfer of a taxi cab license, Charles Souza. Hey, Mr. Souza, good evening. Um, what I have in front of me is that uh, you are asking us to transfer a license uh, to you from your father, who's passed away, I understand. Yes. And uh, you're going to transfer this taxi cab license for a 2009 Dodge Charger and a 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis. Correct. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Do you have anything you'd like to address? I, I the my father's been one of the cab company for close to 30 years now, and the first time it's been transferred, so she had to make a special piece of paper to transfer the license, and I appreciate all the support. Okay. Does the board have any questions uh, for Mr. Souza? How many brides are you going to make? And we don't, we close at five. Close at five? Yeah. Put it in a day. Um, average between two to ten. And most, uh, most of our business is Pembroke Hospital. And it's oh. going way out of town. Do you face a lot of competition from Uber? Services no, like that? No, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I so. <laughs> Any other questions? I'd just like to uh, also add that uh, you have submitted your driver's license and driving record and you have satisfied the police chief's quarry requirements for this license. So is there anyone else speaking in favor of this license? Uh, anyone speaking against it? Hearing and seeing none, I will close that part of the public hearing and I would look for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I would move to the Grand Charles Susan the Fourth BBA Pembroke Town Taxi his request for the transfer of taxi operator's license number TC-01. Motion by Arthur. Uh, is second by Bill. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none. Thank you very much for coming in, Mr. Souza. Thank you very good much. Good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. We did uh, on that. <laughs> uh, next item is uh, a request from the South Shore Race Management LLC to hold two road races in 2017 on the Learning Lane route that is preferred by the police chief. January 22nd, 2017 at 9 a.m., the 261 Fearless 5K road race. And on April 22nd, 2017 at 9 a.m., the Benton Strong 5K Road Race. Uh, they will begin posting temporary signs and they will remove them after the event. And the uh, police chief uh, has approved this and the route that they will run. And they need to hire one detailed officer on each day and the officer in charge will be Lieutenant McDonald. Are there any questions? Yes, Phil. Okay. Uh, use of the town road for the social of race management on uh, Sunday, January 22nd, 2017, and Saturday, 22nd, 2017, at 6 a.m. Okay. On the Robin Mark, Standish, Lake, Lane, Valley, and Forest, and the final approval of the district. Second. Motion by Bill, second by Arthur. Any questions or comments? Hearing on all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing on I deem it unanimous. Uh, next item is uh, a request from the Board of Selectmen and a statement to this 
to the Board of Selectmen. The Department of Revenue has certified the fiscal year 2017 tax rate at $15.10 per thousand. The excess levy capacity is $10,773.22. The fiscal year 2017 tax classification hearing may now be closed. Mr. Chairman, move to close the FY17 tax classification hearing. A motion by Arthur, second by Bill. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, unanimous. Uh, next item on the agenda is to vote to approve the annual liquor license renewals. Uh, we have in front of us 30 businesses who have been certified by the Treasury uh, that they are in compliance with all requirements and uh, they are now eligible to have a liquor license for the year 2017. I call the board's attention to the fifth item sixth item down stated as Turner's yard that should be uh, crossed out and replaced with Tish's Group 53 Tavern. Dishes. Dishes, I'm sorry. You're right. Is there any questions from the board on the list in front of you? Uh, hearing then, I will uh, ask for a motion to accept this list. Eligible liquor licenses as listed above it, with the uh, Turner's Yard being needed and Dishes Tavern being inserted. And uh, for the year 2017, as required by the Alcoholic Beverage Control Second. Motion by Bill, second by Arthur. Any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, that's unanimous. Can we uh, approve the minutes of December 5th? Mr. Chairman, I would move that we vote to approve the minutes of December 5th, 2016 meeting as presented. Second. Uh, motion by Arthur, second and by Dan. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, that's unanimous. Uh, before we get to old business, I see we have uh, DPW commissioners and the Chairman is here. Do you wish to address the board? Very quickly, please. Uh, on the Route 14 project, I don't know if you guys have heard any complaints about the trench patching, but we have. Uh, we reached out to the state, and they were told that's good enough for them. Um, so I plan on reaching out to uh, Josh and Vinny and say, you know, we're not happy with the way they've left it for the winter. Um, and to see if they can get any movement from Mass DOT on making it better before the more snow starts to fall. So I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop so if you hear feedback, um, you know, we're at least trying to do something about it. Okay, if you need any help from us, we will, willing because I've, I've been hearing a lot of complaints. Most of it from the suspension system in my car. <laughs> but I, same with me. I mean, I, 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 we, we've been, we went, we reached out to the state. You know, first it was Landers, then it was the state, and, and the answer is that's good enough for us. Um, but it's not our project, so we really don't have the controls over it. It's a state project, so um, that's where we're heading now. Is to reach out to him and Josh. Okay, and if I could offer. A Hey, would you be able to contact Old County Planning Council mm -hmm. to see if uh, they can do assistance? So. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming in. That's a very important point, and I'm sure all of the board members have gotten calls and complaints from people, besides complaints from us individually. <laughs> I, I've been uh, taking alternative routes to get here now for yeah. a couple of months. I, I just can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. Um, I had one other issue that was called to my attention while I have you here. Okay. People are asking me why telephone poles are in the middle of sidewalks. That's temporary. And people with their mailboxes uh, in the sidewalk area itself. You're talking on 14th? Yeah. Okay. 
down in Macon Street. Yeah. We have reached out to the state on that as well. The state uh, originally said if people wanted to keep their mailbox posts, their existing mailbox posts, then they wouldn't relocate them. Um, we have uh, reached out and they should be getting moved. Um, the remainder of them will be placed appropriately on the roof. Again, that's not our project, so we're we're doing our due diligence to get it fixed. But yes, we said the same thing. We can't get a snow. We can't get a uh, sidewalk plow down there. So they all should be. And I got to now reach out to the postmaster because I heard tonight that they weren't happy. Um, they're all supposed to be set on the curb line, perpendicular to the road um, on that project. The postmaster doesn't want it that way. They want it. I should say parallel to the road. We, we are setting them parallel to the road on the edge of the curb. He wants them perpendicular, but that then sets them a foot into the sidewalk because of the mailbox. So if you notice, some of the ones that did get put in parallel have been kind of turned out a little bit. That's because they're on a pipe thread, basically. So the, the mail carrier actually will pull it out a little bit to make it easier to put the mail in. Uh, but that is going to be ongoing. Well, again, I echo, uh, echo what uh, Dan has said that if this board can be of any assistance in these issues, I will. That one, I will come back to you if it's an issue. That I, I don't want to bother you about the things that, that don't need to bother. You. At this point, I don't need to bother. You that. I needed to bother you with the, the, the patch because I'm going to the state rep. So I figured you would want to. Know. Very good. Well, just keep us posted on the success. The success that you're looking to get, let's hope we get. Yes, because it's going to be the plow. Well, the landers already knows if something happens, they own it for the winter. So if if, if the trenches start to fall apart or whatever, they 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 own it. But I don't want to ruin our snow plows plowing these speed bumps, basically. Right. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for coming in. And Thank you for taking us out of order and, and just for us just showing up after our meeting. I apologize for. I thought we'd have a resolution and not have to come to you guys, so that's why I didn't get put on the agenda. How is Mr. Bastanelli? I, I just enjoy coming in to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure to come before the board. It's always a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> and we did also, we're going to go to advisory with an extra $300,000 in our budget again, like we tried to last year for payment. We need to get point. shot down, but Good point. at least in the truck. All right, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, old business. Uh, does anyone have anything to bring up on the old business? I just have one thing. I do. Yes, ma'am. So the survey that we discussed a while back is now been completed, and I believe it's been distributed to the various boards around town. So we're going to do an update on that. They're starting to come back in to the next folks in the middle of their time because of their meeting schedule. Most of the meetings are wrapping up this week or next week, and then the staff will have an extra two weeks to have the results. Very good. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks, Angie. A town administrator's report. Yes. Uh, most of my stuff will be in executive session. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I had one question I wanted to ask you about that. <coughs> Um, the Hall Road on yes. Bird Street is an agreement that has to be reached between the developer. Right. You know, if there's anything that we can make with that. The agreement was uh, brought to me last week and I forwarded to town council for their review. In fact, I saw Mr. Kelly today and I told him I heard that the town council was reviewing that. Now, when all of the paperwork is finalized and everyone is satisfied, are they going to immediately begin construction on that road? Correct. That's excellent because that's going to be a big improvement on the traffic on the Valley of Bird Streets. I know we're all trying to do what we can to make that improvement happen. Thank you. Ask the selectmen. Do we have any issues from the board members? I'll ask the select. Right. Hearing none, I'll move on to new business. Do you want to have anything on the new business? Mr. Uh, all the members of the board of selectmen should be in receipt of the letter of resignation from Holly Walsh from the Town Government Study Committee. And uh, 
feel sorry to see her go, but she has um, she has uh, family personal commitments and does feel that she can give uh, her full attention to the committee, so she's tendered her resignation. Um, sorry to see her go, but um, I move to accept her letter of resignation. Uh, motion uh, by Dan and second by Arthur on the resignation of Bobby Walsh. All those in favor of acceptance with regret, please say aye. 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 And yes, going further, uh, you know, Holly's been a valuable member of the committee, so it's a shame I can't uh, use her talents uh, any longer. Uh, the committee is in need of more people to get involved. So if there's anyone out there that would like to get involved in uh, and looking at the town government and seeing if we can make it better, uh, please contact the Board of Selectmen. And also, uh, one final thing is, Ed, in this, in this letter of resignation, uh, one, of her, uh, one of her key focuses has been on the uh, town financial systems, and she has uh, an overview of how the, how the financial systems work now and uh, a couple of ideas on how it could work better. So if you could take a look at that, I think you have a copy of this. So if you could look into that and uh, let us know if you have any updates. I'll, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, I have a conference with uh, Mr. Buckley. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Upcoming issues that we have scheduled on January 9th, a request for appointment to the Recreation Commission of Corey Pento. Also in January, uh, a date to be determined, Jennifer Mathias, the Hill Bog Project Update. And in January, a date to be determined, David Shea from the Pembroke Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we have a need for executive session, Mr. Clark. Yes, yes, sir. Just one thing. Yes, Bill, sorry. sorry. We are probably not going to come back into regular session. Um, I just want to uh, put that word out that um, yesterday was the first day that Ernest Pond completely froze over. So winter, is, winter season uh, already, and I know that the young kids are going to be uh, wanting to get out on the ponds and all that. So if the parents could take care of their dogs and their children and make sure that they don't go out on the lakes because they're unsafe um, because of the ice, and we just don't want to have any tragedies this year. So. I noticed that yesterday uh, some of the new swans that were uh, on the pond were frozen in <laughs> during the night. So uh, it's, uh, uh, because of the rain, I guess that loosened things up and uh, you know, they got out. But uh, it's a learning experience uh, uh, for them, I'm sure. But uh, just watch out for your kids and your animals because uh, that puts the uh, also puts the uh, fire department rescue team in, uh, uh, in danger also by going out there. So uh, just try to keep an eye on it for the winter. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chair, point, uh, just one little thing. I just wanted to thank uh, the selectmen and Sabrina and all the folks that attended Saturday night's festivities at the library. It's well appreciated. Thank you. In case anybody doesn't know, we had a little birthday party today uh, over at the library Saturday, and it turned out very well. And, uh, it actually wasn't a birthday party, it was kind of a roast. Yep. And, uh, it was great. There was a lot of people there that said a lot of good things about you, and uh, some that had a lot of funny things. Yeah, it cost me a whole paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great time. It really was very well organized, and uh, it was a good evening. So we do have a date for executive session. Can I have a motion, please? Yes. Uh, I move that we go into the executive session uh, under Mass General Laws, Chapter 38, Section 21, to discuss number three, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an opening meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and that the chair so be clear. And the chair does declare. Uh, we have no need to return to public session, Mr. Fund. Yes, sir. So, um, I'd like to. Pardon me? Yes. 
Second by you. Right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ken? Yes. Matthew? Yes. Bill? Yes. Uh, yes. And I vote yes. So the next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of Selectmen is January 9th. And I'd like to take this time to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. And if there is ever a need for this board to reconvene prior to January 9th, we definitely will. But the schedule calls for the next meeting on January 9th at 7 p.m. Thank you very much and good night.